Hello and welcome to today's math video. Today we are going to be writing money amounts. Let's take a look at this grocery store flyer. Hmm, some of the amounts are written with dollar signs and others are written with cent signs. Let's take a closer look. When we're writing money amounts, we sometimes use the dollar sign. And that is used when the amount is more than 100 cents, when it is more than a dollar. The cent symbol is used when the amount of the item is less than one dollar or less than 100 cents. Let's take a look at this flyer. Can you find any cent symbols? A cent symbol is used when the price is under $1 and the price needs to be less than 100 cents. Can you find some? Point to them. Here's one. Did you see that one? Here's another one. And hmm, there is another one on the screen. Can you find it? There it is. It's at the broccoli. Two of our items were 99 cents. Do you know what items they were? It was our pork chops and our broccoli were 99 cents. And then the avocados were 89 cents. Both of these prices are less than 100 cents or less than a dollar. So we used the cent symbol. Now we are gonna look for the dollar sign. And the dollar sign is used when the price is $1 or more. And that means it would be over 100 cents. Do you see the dollar sign in this flyer? There's one. Can you point to another one? Here's one. Oh, and another. There are some more on the screen as well. Hmm, which item was $2.99? There's two things. We have some chuck roast and some chicken, and the turkey was $7.99. We use the dollar symbol here because these items cost more than 99 cents. It's over 100 cents, which would be a dollar. Let's say that we have an item that is 38 cents. Would we use the dollar symbol or the cent symbol? You're right, it's the cent symbol because 38 is less than 100 cents or less than a dollar. Hmm, what if we had an item that was 425 cents? Hmm, would we use the dollar symbol or the cent symbol? You're right, we would use the dollar symbol and we would put a decimal between the four and the 25 to show that this costs $4.25. What if our item was exactly 100 cents? First of all, we're gonna put the decimal between the dollars and the cents. 100 cents is $1. Anytime that you have 100 cents or more, you can use the dollar symbol. What if you had 86 cents? Would you use the dollar sign or the cent symbol? You're right, 86 is less than 100, so you would use the cent symbol. What about 15 cents? Oh, I know you know that. It's way less than 100. We're gonna use the cent symbol. What if there was 250 cents? Well, first thing, we are gonna put a decimal between our dollars and our cents. So 250 cents is $2.50, which means we're gonna use our dollar sign. What if we have 306 cents? Hmm, where would we put that decimal? That's right, it's right between the dollars and the cents. So we would have $3.06, so we would use the dollar sign. Hmm, why would I put a zero right there? Couldn't I just have the three and the six for $3.06? Hmm, I can't. Anytime we have cents that are less than 10, so if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine cents, we need to put 
a zero in front of it when we have a dollar as well. I am going to give you a homework assignment. I would love for you to take a look at some prices and some store flyers. See if you can find some dollar signs and some cent symbols. And then practice writing some money amounts. Don't forget, dollar signs are used for amounts over 99 cents. And cent symbols are used for amounts under a dollar. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe for more math videos. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.